In this video, we're going to focus on how we can make a button which will counter clicks the doctor clicks. And you can see here, as I keep on, it will block us from going below zero. And as well, if we click on this and we can here click on reset, it will reset the counter back to zero. So let's start to explore how to do this right now. In this video, we're going to focus on how to create an increment and decrement button in JavaScript. So what we're going to do here is basically creating a button here. And to do this, we need to work with a function. But first of all, to start with it, we need to have three specific buttons here. So basically, I'm going to make you a very simple paragraph. And you can see here right now, we have a very straightforward HTML file here. So in here, I'm going to put in a button. And then what I will do here is a span. And then eventually here, another button. And one will be in, uh, we're going to the plus, I don't really minus, and the other one will be the value. We start with a default value of zero. I'm going to say here, uh, we're going to put in a function here. So we say here on click, and in this on click, we're going to give it a item. So for the sake of it, we can just say this will be total click. And what we're doing here basically is the moment you click on this, it will trigger this specific function in JavaScript. And here, very straightforward, we will put in here the value. So when we click on this, we want to see the value go up with a one or increment it with one. And we are going to do the exactly the same with the click, but then in the opposite direction here with the negative. So say here in the button, on click, total click, but here in this case, it will be a negative one. So we will deduct it or decrement basically the total sum that will be in here. For this, here we need to give it an ID. So I'm going to give it an ID name and we can say here total clicks. Uh, well, we can just say total clicks. All right. So once we have this, now what we can do is we can start working on the functions. If I refresh here, you can see here we have these buttons, but of course they don't do anything. So what I'm going to do here is now very straightforward. We're going to say function. And this function will be named total clicks, like here. And in here, we're going to put in the parameter. And the parameter is basically this value here, but we need to give it a name here. So this is what we call parameter. So in here, we can say this will be click. Very straightforward. We'll count the clicks. And then in here, we're going to work with the first item. We're going to grab what we call the total sum. Basically, here the constant. And then we say a sum equals. And what will this be? Well, the sum will be based on whatever is in here. Because what we want to do is we want to grab the value here. And if we click on this, it should do this plus whatever we click on here. So it needs to remind ourselves consistently this value. So we say here, we can say here document dot get element by ID. And what this truly means is basically in essence, go search in this HTML document, which is this document here, and get the element. An element is basically this span tag here, the tag. So we'll get the tag with the ID name of total clicks. All right, so that's a string. So that's why we have that one here. So once we have that, what we want to do eventually is this. We'll say here constant, and this would be eventually the uh, well, let's rename something. I realized that this is total clicks with an S, so I need to make sure we convert it correctly. And this one, same as well. So I like to use this consistently, so that's fine here. And then what we need to do here is the following. We can say a constant. This can be eventually the sum value. And this sum value is the following. It is this specific value here, whatever is in here. But remember, this is a span tag here. What does that mean? A span tag would mean that this is considered a string. So if we do this, a, a string plus a number, it will not show as you expect. It will just add up the other character on the, the, on the item itself. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about so you have an understanding. So we're going to grab this. We say total clicks, and there's a dot inner text. What we really do here is basically grab the inner text in here from this one. That would be this item here. Because we don't want the, only the span tag. We want only the value or the note, the text note. This is what we call a text note. The text note of this span. All right. So once we have this here, and I can show you by doing console log. Let's 
grab this grab this sum value here show that so if i save this now refresh and if i do this one here we open up a developer tab and if i click here on plus you can see it would just grab whatever is in here what would happen if you would say here this sum value plus the click value here you will see that the, this will not be as expected as you can see here now it's zero one if you click on this and this one here it does exactly the opposite zero minus one these are just string values it will connect them together or concatenate them and concatenation is adding them all together we don't want this the issue here is that this is not being recognized as a number and this here is a number but since it sees this as a string it will assume that this must be a string as well so what we're going to do here is basically parse it into a int value and parsing would mean converting something into a readable value or basically make something readable for JavaScript but now we say we make it readable for JavaScript in a integer and integer means numbers so we say here parse int so once we do this and if we save that you will see that this will work nicely now refresh if you click on this there you are because here is one and this is minus one it recognized now it needs to plus or minus all right so now we have this and what we want to do here is basically this we're going to grab here the uh, total clicks here because what we want to do here eventually we want to grab here the total clicks but we want to re uh, change or re rename this basically with a new value or display the matching value and for that we need to use inner a text so we're going to say here this the total clicks dot inner text so we're going to say we want to have a new text in this id which pinpoints this here that we want to say we want to rename this into something else and we say this will be equal to the following we're going to say here where we have this parse then we just say here very simple plus click once we do this we say this some value will be here so if i save this now and refresh now we can do plus 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 and you can see it starts to calculate nicely here and as well here and if we go to here we do exactly the opposite all right so now we have this but i can imagine you say well hold on i don't want to have negative clicks it should be zero it doesn't make sense to have a negative click you're correct let's solve that one right now so we have this here and now what we can do here is basically to avoid negatives we can create an if statement and this if statement will help us all we have to do here is basically put a break on the moment we are below zero we want to rename it by default to zero so that's what we're going to do here so we say here avoid negatives and in here we say if we am going to put an if statement here and we say here, if the sum value here or sorry the total clicks that's basically that one uh, or we can do the sum value then we find the sum value is lesser than zero in that case what we want to do here then we say here the total clicks basically we can grab this one here and we're going to set a default value of zero so if i save this now and let's see here refresh we're going to plus this all right and then we're going to deduct it and as you see, we're trying to deduct it, but while we deduct it here, it doesn't work at all. So here, it will work nicely, and here we can go down, but it will never adjust the value here. All right, so now we have this. So now you might say, okay, how would I be able to do a reset button? Imagine you want a reset button here. All right, let's add up a reset button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to add up here a reset button. We're going to give this here the same value here. We're going to use this, but I'm going to do here a trick. I just say here zero, because if we want to reset it, the value will be set by default on zero. So we're going to say here reset. We'll just make this in caps locks. Refresh here. All right. So now I'm going to trigger this one. If we do this here and we do this, you see nothing happens. Why? Because it will run through this entire item here. Because it just calculates here the click, and the click plus zero or minus zero does means nothing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say reset, reset uh, value. So what we need here is just another if statement, and this if statement says the following: if click, which is basically this item here, which is the parameter, which is this, equals strict zero, 
if that is the case then by default I want to say here same story here you can basically grab, grab this and put it in here you could see here basically what we could do here is almost could do a double if statement here for that but that's all right now so we have this nicely broken down if I save this now and refresh can put it in here and then we say reset goes back to zero here the console log does nothing, of course, and the reason why is because we didn't record anymore in the console log, but we can remove this here. And this is basically the way where you can deduct, add, reset, etc., etc. So with this, you could make a nice input here where you can control the values. And that is basically how we play around with incremental, decremental, and the reset value of a click.